Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have already discussed in detail about the theoretical and the mathematical intuition, which works behind edge detection, how to implement edge detection in MATLAB without using or using the built-in functions. All this I have discussed, right? Now the central part of edge detection is nothing but discrete differentiation. We consider image pixels as discrete values and we apply differentiation to get edges, right? This, in terms of mathematics, appears a very simple operation. But as I have already told you, that this is a very powerful tool. Behind many advanced computer vision or image processing algorithm, edge detection is there, right? So let me show you some demo using which uh, you can get the feeling that how powerful this is, okay? So in my this video, I am going to show you one such example where we are going to use edge detection for image segmentation, okay? So let's uh, check that particular image first. So CLC, clear all, close all, warning off, okay? Now, let me read the image. So the image I'll be providing in the description box. I'll upload the image in my GitHub account and I will share the link so that you can also download from there and use it, okay? So x equal to I am read, okay? So the image is flower.png. It's already present in the workspace. I just uploaded. So to upload an image, if you are using MATLAB online, then you have to go to home and then here upload option you are getting, right? So flower.png I am reading, okay? Then a new figure window, let me show that. I am show x, okay? And let me give the title as original image, okay? Let us see the image first. So this is our original image. As you can see, this is a beautiful flower image. So we have to segment this particular flower. So basically we have to consider this particular flower as foreground and we have to separate from this background, okay? So what we can do, as you can easily understand, this is an image segmentation use case. So first thing what comes in our mind, that as the foreground pixels are having completely different color than background, then we can easily go with color uh, based image, uh, color based image segmentation using color threshold app, which I already discussed, right? But instead of that, let us try to apply edge detection because here we can see that the edge of this particular flower is clearly visible, right? So let us try to utilize that power or that property of this particular image that here flower edges are beautifully visible, okay? And they are very clean. So that property we can use for the segmenting of this particular flower. So first step is what? First step, uh, let us uh, get the uh, edge detected image, okay? So for that, maybe I can write edge detected image equal to, edge is the function as you know, I am passing my image and then you can either use Sobel or maybe Kenny or pre with whatever edge detection. So as I have already discussed that Kenny, Kenny basically is better than other techniques. So I am using Kenny because it apply many steps in the backend, not only simple, simple differentiation, right? And let me show that image. Figure, I am show edge. So if you just simply write edge, it, it, MATLAB will give you the option. You no need to write the complete one again. Okay, and let me give the title as Edge detected image. Okay, right. But there is a problem. See, the edge function expect that you pass and a grayscale image, not RGB image. Okay, you you pass a grayscale image, not RGB image. So uh, as our original image is RGB, let us convert from RGB to gray. Okay, RGB to gray. Okay. Okay. So. Since our code should work, let us run this particular piece of code with evaluate selection. Let us see how output we are getting. Okay. So this is our edge detected image. As you can see that this is our flower part. Okay. Which is properly uh, 
basically detected we can say the boundary parts of the flower part is very properly detected and there are some unnecessary uh, components which are not our point of interest right so what we can simply do we can apply hole filling algorithm as a result this particular complete flower part and the rest of the parts wherever holes are present those will be filled but as we can easily understand that if hole filling algorithm works properly that time the flower uh, after hole filling the flower part will be containing the biggest binary image so then from there we can basically get that biggest binary image easily using bw area open right but there is a problem if you observe this particular edge detected image very properly you might see here that here in this particular part let me just make this particular one little bit bigger uh, zoom this particular one side okay so here let me zoom this particular part if you see here some gap is there right so if we do hole filling it will not work properly due to this particular gap so we have to just fill this particular gap right or close these two points so for closing what is the algorithm you know tell me that is nothing but i am close right that's what we do okay so let me do i am close on top of this image so i am close okay right so uh, let us apply morphological closing okay and the structuring element if you want you can take according to your wish but as i can clearly see that only this particular part i have to merge maybe one line structuring element one small line structuring element i can take just to merge these two parts so maybe we can take one line horizontal line and very small amount of closing is required because we have seen that there is a very small gap so maybe a uh, line structuring element let us take of uh, sorry the function is strel 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 of uh, the structuring element we are taking is line structuring element it expect two parameter one is number of pixels on the line that is three pixels let us take and horizontal line so zero degree angle we are taking okay right so let me just make this particular part bit bigger so that you can see the complete code so basically what we are doing first we are converting the image from rgb to gray then we are getting uh, applying edge detection then we are closing okay so now once this is closed what we can do uh, let us first check whether the i am closing is uh, able to fill that particular hole or not okay yeah so you can see currently the hole is filled so now we can uh, sorry the, the gap is closed basically now we can apply hole filling algorithm on top of this image okay so basically here let me do uh, hole filling algorithm that is im fill is the function as you know so im fill okay im fill i uh, okay right and then here uh, the parameters we have to pass as holes okay Ho hole filling we are doing okay right let me just run this particular part okay So hole filling done and as you can clearly see that the biggest binary object is the flower part so now we can apply uh, a pixel total number of pixels based filtering using bw area open okay right as i have already discussed so bw area open okay so what it will do it will remove all those uh, binary objects which is having uh, total number of pixels lesser than whatever we are specifying so first uh, from our visual inspection a minimum approximation we can consider that at least this bigger flower will contain at least 1000 pixels right or if it is not working we can let it change using trial and error method so let us take threshold value as 1000 so what will happen all the binary objects which are having total number of pixels less than 1000 will be washed away okay so now let me do evaluate selection right code i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about the single line of the code okay so this is what we are getting okay so here one isolated island is present so let me increase that little bit okay so this uh, maybe more than 1000 also we can take here so maybe let me take 1500 okay and let us try it okay okay super so this is what we are getting now the only problem is this particular part okay right so what we have to do basically to remove this particular part we can simply uh, just erode this particular part right 
So let us apply erosion before applying BW area open. That will be helpful. So I am erode. Okay. Uh, let, let me apply erosion. So what we can do, we have to just remove this particular joint part, right? That is uh, this particular one. So we can clearly understand that the erosion or maybe we can apply IM open function. Just if I open this and then apply BW area open, it will be automatically removed, right? So here IM open, let me apply IM open. Okay. So here it will be where I am applying IM open before this one. Okay, right. So here basically one more bracket will come and here we have to specify that structuring element. So STREL. Okay. Structuring element. Let me take one small square step structuring element just to remove this particular connection and this connection. Let us see. So here uh, structuring element. Let us take uh, a square step structuring element. So once uh, maybe three cross three structuring element. Let us type it and run this. So see here by applying multiple uh, simple morphological operation uh, we are able to get this particular mask. Now this mask we can simply put on this particular image just we can multiply this mask and the image to get our original uh, segmented image right. But this is one two dimensional Im image and uh, this original image that is this color image is three dimensional. So we have to multiply uh, plane by plane. Maybe red, red channel after multiplication will be. So we have to multiply for original image. We are multiplying the red channel. So colon, comma, colon, comma, one, uh, dot star, uh, this mask. Okay, age detected. No, this is not age detected image. We can change the name. Uh, we can give the name as uh, mask. Okay. So here instead of age detected image, let me give here mask image. Okay, because that is creating a mask. Okay, here the mask can be. Here let me give mask. Image, okay, so here this with this red plane, we are going to multiply our mask image. But uh, let us convert them back to unsigned integer eight bit because our x uh, that is. Original image, red plane, green plane, blue plane, whatever you say, that is going to be nothing but unsigned integer 8. It should just uh, keep the data type same. Okay. Then similarly, you multiply the original image, uh, green channel and blue channel also with the mask. Okay. So let me just write green and then here, let me write here blue. Okay. So RGB and this is green channel is the second one, blue channel is the third one. Right. So this is uh, more or less making our image. And output is let us just concatenate these three. Okay, so red channel processed is the first first plane, then green channel processed is the second one, and then blue channel processed is the third one. Right. Okay. So this is done. Then here in a new figure window, uh, what we can do? I am show copy. Okay, and then here maybe we can make the title as output image okay so let us run this particular one and test it out whether it is working or not if it is not working then we will again try to modify the code okay no issue so this is our figure one okay so see this is our original image the figure two is basically containing the mask image and you can see a figure three containing our output image which is properly segmented and able to give us our region of interest that is the original yellow color one Okay, so see what I have done in this code. N nothing much I did. So basically, uh, here this sometimes makes a problem. This here we go. Let's close this. Home and layout. Okay, now it's visible. Okay, right. So what I did basically again I am repeating. First I read the original image. Then first I converted the image from RGB to grayscale, applied edge detection. Then in the edge detected image, basically target is filling the holes and get that mask for the flower part. But we observe that in that uh, flower boundary, there is a small um, region where basically that is disconnected. 
So to connect two particular very closely situated uh, pixels, we use IM close, right? So we applied IM close and then filled all the holes, right? So after filling, we observe that the particular uh, image contains the our region of interest binary image contains a small extra spot. So just to remove that particular uh, small extra region and make it as a separate isolate part, we are using IM open so that connectivity is now disconnected. Okay, and then we are applying VW area open to remove all the pixels which are having uh, lesser number uh, to remove all those binary objects which are having lesser number of pixels than 1500. So, this we got using trial and error method. That's it. Okay, and then we are able to get our segmented image. So, this is how using simple uh, image processing techniques we are able to achieve this powerful uh, segmentation. Okay, so the thing is that you should try to analyze the problem statement first and based on the context you should go with the different uh, algorithms whatever I have discussed because here we can go with color thresholding also but we can clearly see that edges are beautifully visible that's why why instead of uh, going with color threshold that uh, I just choose in uh, the edge detection technique and see this central algorithm which is working on behind this particular segmentation from this image to this image is nothing but edge detection right so this is one of the very interesting use case which i wanted to discuss with you i hope you have enjoyed this particular session if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you